So could Microsoft buy Netflix? At least one analyst seems to think so. So there was an announcement last week. When I say last week, I mean this week, like between Monday and Friday. And uh, it had to do with Netflix and Microsoft partnering for their ad program or ad partnership, whatever. Which is getting people to think that this is some sort of deal that's happening to try to for Netflix to try to get closer to Microsoft for a potential takeover at some point, some point in the future. So it says here, Microsoft is in the process of acquiring Activision Blizzard King for a, everyone always forgets about King, which is Candy Crush and that huge mobile game market, which is also now going to include Diablo Morto, which is doing very well. So their, their mobile market is pretty set for Xbox. But Activision Blizzard King, acquiring Activision Blizzard King for a truly eye-watering $72 billion USD. Everyone always has like a different number when they talk about it. Some people say 70, some people say 69, some people say 68. Here it says 72. Giving Microsoft and its Xbox gaming division control over some of the world's most popular video game franchises, Call of Duty, Warcraft, Candy Crush, and many more. The whole logic around this acquisition ultimately comes back to Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft's nascent gaming subscription service, which the company expects will become the driving force behind its expansion behind its Xbox consoles. I mean, we know that that's something they've been pushing now since 2017. Microsoft has been aggressively expanding its cloud streaming capabilities for gaming, putting its Xbox cloud gaming service on smartphones and Samsung TVs, allowing you to play titles like Halo flight simulator without buying console. It's shift. Microsoft predicts will allow how our habits around music and media consumption moved away from retail copies of CDs and DVDs to streaming services like Spotify and Netflix. Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass services, it's a far tighter, more curated platform that features a revolving library of 300 to 400 or so titles preventing the cannibalization of the regular box copy retail games market. Yet still, the, comp the comparisons to the likes of Netflix abound and they're likely to intensify in the coming weeks and months ahead. I mean, Game Pass has kind of always been referred to as the Netflix of gaming. It still is. People still think of it as that. The first, first in, really. First one to take off. It's going to be the hardest one to catch from all the competitors. It's going to be the most popular. So there's a lot of comparisons between those two. And they have... Netflix now puts out so many of their Netflix uh, movies and stuff. And Xbox is trying to kind of do that with all of their first party game studios. They obviously haven't fully delivered on that yet, but they will at some point once all the games start dropping and just creating video games is such a harder process. I was, well, actually, you know what? I've, I haven't created a video game or haven't created a movie, so I don't know, but it seems like making a video game is a much, it's like a longer and harder process than creating a movie. But I don't know. The comparisons are very much there though, between, between Netflix and Xbox. So indeed, Microsoft is actually teaming up with Netflix per an announcement a couple of days ago for Netflix's new, more affordable, because Netflix's price is ridiculous. I just canceled Netflix the other day or a couple months ago, whatever it was. I was paying like $22 a month for Netflix. This is absurd. I was like, I don't even watch this shit. I watch Netflix maybe like once every couple of weeks, if that. Why am I paying this? So I cancel it. But yeah, there's now going to be a more affordable ad supported streaming tier. Microsoft has picked as the exclusive ads marketplace and technology partner for the new service. It'll be another feather in the cap of Microsoft's growing ads business, which is no slouch at $10 billion in revenue last year. Huge. I mean, that's a huge part of their business. Although it pales in comparison to the likes of Google, which is 160 billion in the same, in the same period. In any case, one analyst speaking to Yahoo Finance claimed that the partnership betrayed a possible longer term goal, namely an exit for Netflix, which has been struggling to diversify its revenue streams and find new growth as of late. A decline in subscribers saw a mass investor exodus over the past year, with Netflix's share price taking an absolute battering from its peak of 690 points all the way down to 177 points today. To be fair, to be fair, the entire stock market has been taking a beating over the last little while. It's not just Netflix. <laughs> Laura Martin, Needham Senior Analyst, had this to say about the partnership. Could be that Netflix is looking for an exit. I mean, that's what Activision Blizzard did. They were looking for an exit. They called up Microsoft, and that deal, from what we understand, got done in like a month. 
talked in November and then they, they announced it like, well, I forget when they announced it, but it was, it was announced relatively fast or they came to a deal relatively fast. And we know Activision Blizzard was looking for an exit with all the scandals that was going on. Bobby Kotick was trying to get out with that golden parachute and he did. And he's going to. So maybe this is what Netflix is trying to do as well. Netflix is trying to get closer to Microsoft in hopes that after Microsoft digests its Activision acquisition, it turns and buys Netflix next. So after that deal closes, they're hoping that Microsoft comes and says, hey, we're making a bunch of money off of our ad partnership with you guys. You guys want to just be bought. We'll buy you for whatever amount, $100 billion or whatever. And uh, yeah, you'll be part of Microsoft and uh, you guys can work independently and you keep making your movies. You'll have even more money than you had before under us and more resources and stuff. More importantly, it's just that it's only Microsoft who could foot the potential $100 billion valuation for Netflix once the Activision Blizzard deal closes. I mean, this is nuts. If you think about, sit back and think about how big Microsoft is, trillion, multi, was it $2 trillion they're valued at now, like multi-trillion dollar company? I don't know if it's still that right now, but the fact that they can buy all these huge companies that you think are juggernauts in business, it's just crazy to think about. And when it comes to video games, if Microsoft really was like a brutal competitor and wanted to just like, I don't know, stomp out the competition. I mean, they do essentially because they are a business, they are a corporation, but if they really wanted to go hard. I mean, this, the amount of money they have on their competition within Microsoft as a company, it's like not even comparable, I don't think. But it's crazy. And they could spend $70 billion on Activision. Now they can maybe go out and spend $100 billion on Netflix. Okay, so for sure, many other companies who would be able to grab Netflix, such as Amazon and Google, already have large video streaming services of their own. That's true. I actually like Prime better than Netflix. I, I think I watch Amazon Prime more than I, than I watch Netflix, to be honest. It's certainly an interesting proposition. Obviously, combining the offering of Xbox Game Pass and Netflix into a single service would give Xbox developers access to tens of millions of potential new users, providing exposure on a level that is simply unheard of with today's Xbox install base. So that's a good point. That's one reason why I could see potentially my Xbox going wanting to do this is the fact you're getting access to all of those Netflix customers. Netflix already has... Netflix already has their gaming division, right? Which is mobile gaming. Yeah. So they already have this Netflix games for Android and iOS. And we know Xbox is trying to improve their, their mobile gaming market, which they're doing with Candy Crush, which they're going to, which they're going to be doing with Diablo Immortal. If you buy Netflix, you're getting access to all of these millions and millions of of Netflix subscribers and you're you're really expanding your mobile game. So that could be something Xbox is potentially I could say will look at and want to do. And then on top of that you're being able to bundle that already with Xbox Game Pass. So it's like would that increase the price of Xbox Game Pass potentially, but maybe they have like a bunch of different tiers where it's like gaming tier and then gaming and movie tier. And overall, the price of going with a gaming movie tier could potentially be even cheaper than the highest price of Netflix right now. Like right now in, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I know Canadian terms. I don't know what it is in America, but I think like in, in the States was a 15 bucks a month for Game Pass Ultimate, something like that. Or is it, I think it's like like 10 bucks, like 15 bucks a month, right? Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. 15 bucks a month. Let's see. Let's see the pricing here. So it's eleven ninety nine Canadian for for just PC or console game pass, but for Ultimate, fifteen ninety nine Canadian. So yeah, it's, so what is it? Twelve ninety nine American for for Ultimate? Anyways, my point being is Fifty ninety nine Canadian. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with twelve dollars American a month for a Game Pass Ultimate, where you can game anywhere. You add another maybe five bucks to that. You can go seventeen ninety nine a month. You're on par with with PlayStation Plus Premium. And not only are you giving people Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, where you can play games literally anywhere, you're also giving them access to Netflix. 
it would be the most insane killer deal out there. It would definitely increase subscriptions. I, I don't see how anybody would be able to compete with it or anybody would be able to beat it. So the acquisition itself, honestly, you you sit back and think about it. If Xbox wanted to do this, probably makes a decent amount of a decent amount of sense from an Xbox perspective if they would be able to 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 have like gaming tier twelve ninety nine a month, gaming and and Netflix seventeen ninety nine a month, and then you also have those tiers that directly compete with PlayStation Plus, uh, the tiers that they have. So yeah, it would make sense, and they get access to the install base of Netflix as well. It says here Netflix already offers. A few Android games through a service, but getting Xbox games in there as well would certainly go an extra mile towards popular, popularizing the concept. It would also be a huge platform for Microsoft's ads business, giving it access to many millions more eyeballs than it has available with its current platforms today. Netflix also comes with some high caliber studios of its own, which could lend their creativity to building shows and movies around Microsoft's IP, such as Halo Paramount Plus's show, which is Halo. Oh, yeah, Halo Paramount Plus to show. <laughs> the interaction between traditional media and video games provides a marketing feedback loop that we're seeing more and more companies show interest in with many big name TV shows in the works. And they go on here and they keep talking about all that kind of stuff. But Netflix's market cap right now is 80 billion. Yeah, they could definitely, they definitely could afford it. And I think actually makes a ton of sense. Another thing that would was is interesting is where is it here? Activision patents. Um, I talked about it last week. Uh, there was a new patent that Activision had put out. I don't know if I can find it, but there was a new new uh, patent that Activision put out uh, that they filed for, which was having a game in a picture in picture be influenced by something you're watching on TV. And it wasn't really sure what that meant, whether that meant that like whatever you're watching is going to influence what's happening within the game. Or if, for example, you're watching a sports game, like a football game or a hockey game or something, the video game that you're playing will, will pause during certain times of the game where it's really important for you to focus. And imagine all of this came together in like one big thing where it's like Activision filed this patent because they're preparing for Microsoft to acquire Netflix. So then they can go back to what, um, what the Xbox one wanted to do, which failed, which was literally incorporate TV and video games into one having snap, having some like a, a show, a Twitch on the side or something, and then play, all playing game at the same time. The craziness of that full circle coming to fruition would show that that and, and I think it would work. I think now it would work, but it would show that Don Matrick, although he screwed the hell out of the Xbox One, it's because he was so far ahead in where his vision was for where Xbox wanted to go. And I feel like at some point we're going to get right to where Don Matrick was thinking with Xbox, which was having it literally your entire entertainment hub as TV and video games. But at this point right now where Xbox is, there's so much better, there's just way better set up to be able to do that because they are primarily a gaming thing, a gaming platform with tons of great content that isn't going to be sacrificed by focusing on TV. And then they acquire Netflix. It's just like, it's a full package that I don't know how it could be beat. I feel like this would be highly, highly scrutinized if that was the case by the FTC. If they're scrutinizing Activision Blizzard about a monopoly, I don't know. Like, I think this would be crazily scrutinized, but um, yeah, yeah, it would be crazy. I actually, the more I sit, sit back and think about this, Microsoft acquiring Netflix would be a brilliant move. I think they should do it if they want to grow their, if they want like to to dominate essentially, which they already do. But like if they really want to, I think it would be a very, very, very smart move. And um, I think they would just be able to make like multiple tiers of subscription that I don't think could be competed with. But yeah, that's, that's the act. That's the Netflix and Microsoft news. That's been people have been talking about the last couple of weeks. Or in the last couple of days, I should say. It's last couple of days. 
RWK88 with the 499 super chat. I, I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. It does mean a lot. Thanks for stopping by and the chat and 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 you're asking here, you get games, movies, TV, music, and a few other services people will pay up to a hundred dollars a month. Look at how long our parents paid for Dish Direct TV 120. You know, you that's a yeah. Yeah, I, I think about the bills that my parents paid for cable back in the day. Like in Canada, we have Rogers and Bell. And um, yeah, they're paying like insane amounts. And the, the amount of content they were getting was far worse with way more commercials that you couldn't skip. And you don't even get commercials now when you're paying for stuff. So like, yeah, I think people would pay like, I think people would easily pay 20 to $25, no problem a month if they had a service with game pass and with Netflix, like I don't think that would be an issue at all. Even for me, I would have no problem paying like 20, $25 a month for that at all. Maybe even a bit more because I think about all the stuff that I pay for right now. Like I, like I said, I just canceled Netflix and they were charging me like $22 Canadian, which was absurd. Absolutely absurd. And I don't even use it. I would pay like, I would pay. Yeah, no problem. So I don't know. I think it'd be a smart deal. Will they do it? Who knows? Who knows? The only my only concern, I guess, with that would be like, do they have the 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 infrastructure or not the infrastructure, but do they have the setup in place so that the games don't suffer? That's what I would hope for because the 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 truth of the matter is, right now in twenty twenty two, there is questions as to the leadership at certain Xbox game studios and why games are not on track. When are they going to be coming out? And people are going to continue to have those questions until they release the games. And I wouldn't want something like a Netflix coming in where they start focusing more on TV and movies and, and then they lose their focus on video games. That's just, that would, that would be the worst case scenario in my opinion.